What's going on, everyone? So I logged in today and I just had unlocked the light side battles well, a couple days ago, I guess I should say. At this point, I've been doing the hard node battles or I finished them off uh, on chapter seven. There's not really too much that I wanted to farm here in specific, with the exception of the um, Y Wing Starfighter. I'm actually going to start farming this one just because the ships take forever. And well, that leads me into the perfect kind of topic for today's video, which is how I should be spending my energy and how I, at least my opinion, about how everyone should be spending their energy for at least the one to, you know, 80 process when you're getting up in the levels and maybe even past that, maybe you all could provide some more clarity later on um, in the levels and such, but at least for the entire time that I've been playing, there should be not a single energy spent on getting specifically gear right normal nodes with the exception of like maybe the first couple of days when you don't even have hard nodes that you can farm right and you have just a million energy and you are farming the gear to get yourself through the early stages with the exception of like that first like three or four days every single piece of energy you should be spending on it should be spending uh spent on hard nodes uh you should be farming whatever characters you possibly can and i wish i had done this a little bit sooner because about the level 40s or so i had actually started to farm up some gear because i was like okay you know i'm going through i farm my dark trooper um i farm my Hera, i farm my i was farming off guinea at the time and then i'm like going through i'm like okay well there's no phoenix or troopers there i'll farm my my general veers you know and there's no imperial troopers or anything like that there and then i'm like oh i'll farm my piet whatever it is of course this was later on but i farmed my two main teams and then i kind of paused after that and of course, if there was a ship node, I was encouraged to farm it as well. So I would pick that up. But I've also started to incorporate basically any appealing hard node that I could find into my daily rotation. And with the amount of hard nodes that I'm farming right now, I can actually use up pretty much all of my energy that I get in a day and, well, accomplish all the hard nodes that I am farming. So for example, right now, and I'll walk us through all the hard nodes I have, I'm farming Dark Trooper. I'm farming Hera. I'm not farming off getting he is complete. Uh, I am farming Grief Karga, right, as part of the Mandalorian squad. I'm also farming the General Fears here, as well as Aiden's node, specifically for the Vulture Droid, but getting Aiden is a nice little bonus. Uh, in Chapter 5 Light, I am not farming anything here, although there are some appealing ones. Chapter 6, I am farming Admiral Piet, as well as the uh, 7th or 8th brother, rather and the IG-2000, more importantly. For Chapter 7, I am going to start incorporating the Y-Wing into my farm. Uh, 3PO is a consideration in the future because, well, I'm actually not too far away from a CLS comp, so I may even start incorporating 3PO into this farm, but uh, I actually do want to far start farming the Y-Wing just because I want to have a nice selection of ships because that's going to be the main priority for a long, long, long time. And of course, non-accelerated nodes are kind of a nightmare, so um, it just makes sense for me to start farming those earlier. And then as for the dark side, well, we've got uh, Sabine on farm, which has been pretty nice. Chapter two, I have, well, no one really, because there's no ships or characters that I necessarily want. I consider the Umbaran Starfighter, um, but I have not started farming that one yet, because, well, I actually have a lot of ships to farm. I even consider uh, Range Trooper, but I have not yet, because it fits into the Iden Troopers, and I don't think I'm going to be investing in that team for a long time. The best guard mando captain rex are on farm uh chapter four well we don't actually have anyone here chapter five i have quill cara dune and with my spare energy if i have any i've been farming bastila um, at that point but now i'm probably going to be farming you know random ship nodes and then chapter six well i am farming nothing here because well there's nothing particularly important here in terms of teams or ships so i'm farming all those nodes and you might have noticed that Okay, I just talked about like, I don't know, 15, 16, 17 hard nodes. I don't know. Maybe maybe it was less than that. I actually don't know. That's because I don't want to spend a single point of energy on any normal node whatsoever. Even if I am looking for gear and I have farmed all my hard nodes and I'm like, okay, I kind of need this piece of gear. I'm only farming it off of a hard node, right? I'm finding the gear within that hard node. And I'm farming that character along with it. And the main reason for that is... Well, the biggest bottleneck most of the time when you're considering a lot of your early game plays has been shards 
uh, for the startups or even accessing the characters in general. Add to that, that most of the gear you actually need in the early levels up until even this point is actually just obtainable through things like challenges and Mark 1 currency for your guild, which are both way more efficient uses of your overall resources because eventually you'll need to farm these hard nodes anyways. And so instead of using those precious points of energy and days, right? Because hard nodes are locked behind days, farming up gear, Instead, you can use that spare energy to farm up those hard nodes, which is going to give you an advantage later on. And that's kind of been my philosophy. And again, this is even more reinforced when we consider ships, as many of you have already spoken about, because things like, for example, IG-2000, even the Starfighter for Anakin, things like Vulture Droid, the TIE Bomber, um, you know, the Umbaran Starfighter, the Y-Wing, all of these Hound's Tooth, which we're going to get to eventually, Xanadu Blood, all of these ones are locked behind hard nodes. Add to that the fact that those hard nodes are not accelerated, which means that we're looking at seven uh, to eight months, I think, on average to pick up these characters uh, or, or these ships, which is a lot. And, well, again, you could have wasted points slash time of your energy and days on farming up some random mark four keypad salvage some of the gear when you get to you know level 60s and such is reasonable to farm like i i wouldn't uh again i think it's just better to farm mark one currency and do it but some of the gear isn't like egregious right if i wanted to go farm like mark three carbontes um on some sort of hard node like this jolie node or um heck there's a normal node right here with mark three carbontes right then it wouldn't be like egregious because i'm going to use carbontes for like ever but I'd much rather go for the, the Bo-Katan Jolie Mark III Carbonti load. And that's what I'm farming every time. Or the, the Echo plus Luke um, plus Carbonti node. It's just way more overall value to go for those nodes, at least in my opinion. That's kind of been my um, you know, conclusion over the past, well, month and a half that I've been playing the game well, a little bit less than a month and a half um for my account i don't want to be spending any energy in any place other than hard nodes and i should have been incorporating even more hard nodes on a day-to-day -day basis because you actually get a ton of energy especially if you're using the web store especially if you're using your uh, random free energy gifts three times four times three times you get the morning you get the noon you get the afternoon and then you get the evening and that's four different energy sources. And then you oftentimes, at least up until this point, get about a level a day. As we get a, a little bit higher and higher, it's starting to slow down a little bit. I'm getting about like 75% of a level a day, but those levels give you a ton of energy. You're able to support so many hard nodes. There should be really no reason as to why you aren't farming all the hard nodes that you possibly can. And heck, even some of the hard nodes that uh, I had looked at initially, I was like, eh, maybe I don't need that. I'm like, oh, I should have just, started to farm it <laughs> like i should have just started to farm it like the Iden node for example is a perfect one um earlier on in the game i'm like looking at the node i'm like i don't need Iden. like i'm gonna run the veers troopers and and Iden doesn't really fit into that team like uh, perfectly and instead she kind of wants her own team own trooper team i mean she could fit in that team quite fine but who cares about Iden? it's that ship right there that ship that vulture droid is so massive if you could find a ship on a hard node even better, a ship that doesn't require a crew. Huh. It's like the dream scenario. It is just the dream scenario. The more ships you have, the more options you have. Uh, not only because, you know, you want to be beating the arena, you want to be beating your, your ship battles, but actually you just need a critical mass of dark side and light side ships to get through the challenges as the Zeta challenge. Well, it's something that you have to be looking forward to. Not that the hard nodes are really going to prepare you for that because well, it takes so long to farm them, but you really do want a critical mass of all these specific ships in order to be prepared for all that type of content going forward. And if you don't start like, you know, week one, week two, you're going to potentially miss uh, a rotation or two or three or four. And I've already felt a little bit like that. Not that I missed too much. Like I missed maybe a couple days of farming efficiently, especially when it comes to ships. But 
I would have taken those two days back if I had gotten um, a little bit of this type, type of idea or this mindset early on. So I wanted to share that. It's just something I've learned. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section down below. As per usual, you all offer such great advice and I love reading all of your comments. So maybe I'm just wrong and maybe everything I said here is something that you all disagree with. This is just my conclusion after the course of time. So um, you know, if I'm wrong, maybe I'll make another video talk about it. maybe a little discussion uh, will ensue. But regardless, that's my thoughts. Thanks for watching, everyone. And I'll see you all for the next one.